Hello everyone, Marcia here today. I'm doing a process video with the Coco Vanilla Studio Make-A-Wish collection. This collection has such beautiful pattern papers. Um, it's a, just a beautiful collection. One of my favorite pieces is this floral paper that I'm using for the base to my layout. And then I put some white cardstock over the top of that that I punched with a Martha Stewart punch all around the page. Um, I really like the feminine edge that it gives it. Um, so since it's a birthday layout I figured I needed some balloons and I used some balloons from a Top Dog Dies set that I had. Um, you can see me here I'm inking my edges to the balloons with some Quick Quotes Powder Puff Chalk ink. These are one of my favorite inks for adding some dimension to my die cuts. Um, so there we go. Um, I also already tied some string onto my balloons. Um, I really thought that would give it a much more festive um, look to them. Um, I knew I wanted to um, scrapbook this layout in a grid design, so I am using some of those um, journal cards on the cut apart pattern page, and I used one of them for a mat for my photo. So here I am, I'm adhering the balloon down the big pink balloon down because this is the only corner this balloon can go in. It's just how the die works. So I'm arranging the string and um, grabbing out this other um, cake journal card that I thought would be perfect for this layout since it's a it's a birthday cake layout. Um, and there's this collection has these awesome wood veneer words that I thought would work really well for my title. So the title Wish, since um, she's about to blow out her birthday cake candles here. So I'm also using some die cuts from the F Mira pack. I really like the doily die cut and this Happy Birthday to You banner. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start to add here down some of my um, layout elements, the photo um, and the doily and the banner. Um, I like to use a lot of foam tape on my layouts to give um, certain elements dimension and help them pop up. So we're going to use some foam tape on the banner to set it off from the doily. So. So, like I said, this is uh, my mother-in-law in this photo. Um, she recently celebrated her 76th birthday. And that's my brother-in-law, um, Tim, her son, giving her a kiss on top of the head. Um, it's just a sweet photo. My daughter took it when we were out there um, celebrating with her phone. And it's not very high quality, so I didn't want to print a big photo. So we kept it wallet size. But it is a sweet photo, though. I knew I wanted to scrapbook it um, when I saw it. So here we are. Um, I'm checking to see what else I might want to do. There, are, I'm going to be playing with some of the different. Um, chipboard stickers and some of the vellum um, ephemera die cuts to see if I want to place any of these on my layout as well. Um, so I decided that I really didn't want to use the vellum that I thought it was busy enough with um, the balloons there. But I did want to add some more wood veneer pieces so I'm um, adding a star here over my photo. 
so to adhere the balloon strings down I wanted to use a, a bow in the same um, floss that I used to tie on my balloons and I'm using a tool here called a bow easy it's real um, makes it real easy to tie the perfect bow every time and it's one of my favorite tools and I use it for card making as well as my scrapbook layouts um, so here I am with the bow um, so I'm going to go ahead and put some foam tape on the balloons as I know um, where I want these to be and then I'll be able to adhere the string down without um, having to worry about the balloons moving later so um, I added some stitching on here I like to use my sewing machine to add some machine stitching to my layouts so I did do some machine stitching uh, around that cake card um, I almost always add some machine stitching on my layouts and so, so here I am trying to decide where I want that bow to go So I'm using a Xyron glue dot to adhere it to the layout. And then fussing with the bow to make, get it just so. There we go. So my video, um, I, I discovered this is one of my first videos that I have filmed and I discovered my 35 millimeter camera um, only films for 20 minutes at a time and then shuts off automatically and so um, the, I missed some of the end of the um, some of the end of the layout uh, didn't get recorded so I eventually did replace the bow that I just tied there and replaced it with a bow die cut that was in the ephemera pack and I thought it looked better it's, it had more color to it um, I also added some pink um, ink splats as well so here I'm putting on the celebrate um, chipboard sticker and gives it a little dimension as well and the blue ties in the same blue as my ink splats um, this collection has these awesome alpha stickers and um, on the sticker sheet too there's some phrase stickers so I knew I wanted to add some of these phrase stickers um, for um, having to do with um, a birthdays theme that I have going here so I'm putting um, three different stickers on here and I did go ahead and I stitched over these as well to give them some texture So now I'm, um, I decided I wanted to add a third wood veneer piece here. I kind of like to keep things in threes. So three balloons, three wood veneers. Um, but I don't know. Three is just a good number, I think. So, and here at the end, um, there's some puffy stickers. And I wanted to add a tab to the top of my photo. And it says love this and I thought it was perfect okay so we're almost to the end of the video here 
Um, you're going to see that I eventually did add some enamel dots and I changed out that bow like I said. Here are some photos.